Hi guys, in this week's video I'm going to show you five of my favourite all round pole exercises to do with either young horses or older horses. So our first exercise is our walk maze. So because it's in walk it's really nice as part of a warm up and when we do pole work in walk it's actually really hard for the horses um, and really makes them use their core because in trot or in canter there's momentum and the horses moving forward. So uh, in walk, they really have to engage. And the idea is that we walk through the maze and you can either use turn on or turn about the forehand. Okay, so it's really important that you get a nice walk rhythm in. Little half hold, asking Jerry for a little bit of flexion and be able to move away from my leg by me putting pressure on it. So he starts to move laterally, with a little bit of inside bend and then walk away nice and straight in a rhythm. So then we always do pole work in both directions to make sure that they are even and very often we find a little harder point on one leg more than the other. So this is my next exercise which works on straightness and because it's got the diagonal poles in it also just really gives the horses something else to look at and be a little bit interesting and make their make their brains work a little bit harder. So again, the really important part of this is to keep a rhythm. Get the horse working straight and in a straight line. And once you adjust the poles, you can then do the same exercise in canter. So for our next exercise, it's uh, to work on bending. So we do a shallow loop, we've got two tunnels and the pole in the middle of the widest part of our loop, Jerry has to get to the middle of that pole. So it really works, like I say, on getting the horses changing bend and bending and listening around the inside leg. And you can do this in walk, trot or canter. it's my seesaw cross exercise so you do it on a 20 meter circle and you can go either side so one's lower and one is a slightly raised pole and this can be done in trot or canter and the idea is to make sure that you ride to a rhythm and that you keep control of the horse's outside shoulder Uh, we've got four poles on a 20 metre circle position at 12 o'clock, 3 o'clock, 6 o'clock and 9 o'clock. And you again can do this in trot or canter. It's a lovely exercise to get the horses working in a rhythm. Again, make sure that you don't lose them through the outside shoulder. So make sure you have your outside leg and outside rein. And you can also uh, count the strides between. So making sure that the horse canters or trots an even amount of steps between the poles. So there we are, part one of my favourite pole work exercises. What I really love about pole work is that very often when I get going, I actually change and adapt the exercises for the horses. So uh, it inspires me and um, that's why I constantly think of new pole work exercises to do. So go and have fun. Like I say, most of them you can do in walk, trot or canter. You can adapt them if you're on a slightly greener or younger horse. And the older horses, you can do a little bit more. Um, and introduce some more advanced movements within the pole work as well. So thank you very much for watching. Stay tuned for part two of our pole work video and we will see you soon.